Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the maximum pressure on the roof when the door is open, ignoring area reduction effects and combination factors. So I'm hoping this video is going to be putting quite a few things into perspective. I've always talked about these separate cases. We're now going to be looking at this when we're working out the max pressure on the roof. So the two things we need to know is the, is the actual roof pressure, the external roof pressure, and the internal pressure when the door is open. So we found the external roof pressures in previous videos. So we had two separate cases. We had minus 0.54. And we also found minus 0.253. So I've just rewritten those out there. And those are both obviously suction because they're negative. And we just found in the previous video, the internal pressure when the door was open. So if I show you that. So when the door was open, we had an internal pressure of minus 0.54 kPa. Okay. Now what we're going to be doing is, is we're going to work out the maximum or the worst case based on these different combinations. So if I show you, we combine the pressures. So here's a picture of what we're doing. So we have a roof pressure in case one of minus 0.54 kPa, 0.584 kPa. So that's a suction pushing it up. And then we also have an internal pressure of minus 0.454 kPa, which is also a suction, but internally the suction is gonna pull down on the roof, okay? So from the external perspective, it's a suction pulling up on the roof like this. From an internal perspective, a suction is pulling down on the roof. Okay, so it's important to understand that factor. We know that suction we've said in the previous, in the start of the videos is a pull. So externally, a pull looks like this. Internally, the pull looks like this. That's for case one. For case two, we have an external roof pressure of minus 0.253 kPa and still an internal pressure of minus 0.454 kPa. Same type of thing, suction, suction, pull, pull. So now based on this, we need to work out the worst case. Now, when you've got them going in opposite directions, it's a little bit more confusing, but this is how I like to do it. So let's look at this case over here first. What I do is, 